Hello friends, today we will see how we can create basic web content in library. So first, what is a web content? So web content is a static content which can be displayed on portal page. So for this, first click on admin and then click on content. So here you can create your web content. So now click on add basic web content now this will open this kind of thing so here you can create your web content so first provide the title so now you can create the content in this editor this is called what you see is what you get editor So this is the short form of this what you see is what you get editor so this editor provide us tools various tabs which are using for creating html content so like and now you can select this and keep it bold look it's simple now you can select this, keep it underlined. Similarly, italic. You can also increase the size and other things of this. So let's increase the size of this. So they are very handy features. If you don't know HTML, you can use these things. But if you want to check the source code of this, so this is the source code generated automatically by Lightfrey. So if you know the HTML, you can create your HTML tags and paste it there and that's it. So it's very simple. So now you can publish this. Click on this publish button and that's it. Your web content is created successfully. So this is your web content. You can click on this basic preview to show the preview of this so it look like this on your web page so let me add some more lines If you don't know any HTML, you can use the text. If you know HTML, then you can click on the source button and paste your HTML text. So now I just use the feature of what you see is what you get editor. Then click on publish. So each time you edit your web content, a new article is created. Or basically we can say a new version is created for the same article so look it's new version you can click on this and check on history so we create two versions now so look the two versions so now there are some other features like this abstract where you can provide the summary of this Categorization we can discuss in later tutorials. It's important now schedule when your Web content is expired. So I check never expire. You can also provide the date that on that date it will expire So now This is it. So let's add this on our page So you can hit your local host TD. Click on this add button Here life will provide a portlet so we can say out of the box portlet web content display this one add this portlet to your page and select web content here you can select your web content so our web content is this library is easy select this 
and click on save button and that's it so simply without creating any portlet or something we create a simple web content or simple static content that can display on our page now we can see the tables where we store the data so the first table is asset entry which create which contain all the assets data so this is asset entry table and this is the title of our web content which we created this is library is easy but the main data is in journal article table this is the journal article table which contain the title and look the three versions so each time you create a version it will update this table and all the data is stored in xml format in the content column so this is the xml which contain all the tags so look so these are the tags which we use in our web content there is another third table which is journal article resource there is another table journal article resource which contain the mapping of the two tables so this resource primary key of journal article is same as the class pk of asset entry table so that's it for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching